Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We've got so much happening this morning from performances, awards, and a lot of food. My favorite. I like my first guest. Copita Restaurant in Sausalito is celebrating its seventh anniversary for seven days in May, and it is just in time for Cinco de Mayo. And here to tell us all about it is co-owner Joanne Weir and executive chef Daniel Tejas. Right? Yes. Right. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. Oh, it's so fun to be here. We I love it. I know, I know. And I love that you brought so much food with right, you right. Here and also some drinks. So first, let's talk about the okay. restaurant. Then we'll talk about the food. All right. I mean, congratulations. Seven years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, oh, seriously, we are known for our margaritas. We've sold almost a million margaritas wow. and in seven years. That's a lot of margaritas. Yes. And they're really wonderful. But it's very simple. What I did was it's just two ounces of Blanco, 100% agave tequila okay. and uh, one ounce of lime juice freshly squeezed lime juice mm -hmm. and also one ounce of agave ready syrup so what makes a good margarita is it the tequila that makes the difference it is the fresh lime to start mm -hmm. freshly squeezed from yeah. the day and yes. the tequila and also I think it's the balance between sometimes they're too sweet ours is a really good balance and I'm gonna make you taste it yay <laughs> so I, mean... I just put everything in here with some ice okay. I'm not the bartender, I'm really more the chef, but right. or Daniel is, but um, but anyway, and then we always use these big ice cubes, which I, I really love, love mm -hmm. because they don't melt they don't melt as quickly. And you already have lime in the glasses? I yes. Just a, a lime wheel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks so well, good. I'll make and so, small. so refreshing too, right? Yes. And you don't need much. <laughs> right. No. At least oh no, I don't. these are really <laughs> these are, they, they spoil you. I'm serious. Okay, just here in time you go. to go them out. This is yes. all for work. So yes. here, cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Cheers. <laughs> Salud. cheers. All right. So we're gonna have a drink. Mm. Mm. So we're really known for our very wonderful, good. very, very Great. fresh, modern Mexican food. And um Daniel. Yes, Daniel, take go it to away. It. Today we, we brought a ceviche, a classic one, yeah. the one you can make at home for this hot days lately yes and uh, we have fresh flounder wild cut this is pretty cured uh, and cooked in lime okay. we cook right. it in lime for about 20, 20 to 25 minutes we salt it already first salt then lime and we let it cook for 25 minutes so you're so, using flounder yes okay because usually you, we think of shrimp right but you can yeah, use any have, white fish, yeah we really. have uh, at, at copita we have several ceviches, mm -hmm. different ones. We have shrimp, we have octopus, we have uh, mm -hmm. tuna, everything with fresh fish, right. wild cod. We probably have five ceviches on the menu. Oh, wow. They're so, and everybody loves them. I think it's the lime and kind of makes mm -hmm. the food, it's just kind of pops, you know? Yeah, it's bright. Yes, it's, it's bright, it's bright. a perfect word, mm -hmm. exactly. A little bit of cilantro. Cilantro, red, red onion, onion. Uh, cucumber, so Which I have to good. tell you, yeah. I wish at home you could smell this wonderful mixture <laughs> of food. It just smells so good. And you're not cooking anything, but everything I just know. smells really good all together. Tomato. And especially that jalapeno. And uh, depending yes. how spicy you want it. This is uh, serrano peppers. Serrano. That's serrano. Okay. Because serrano is really nice. It's serrano. got a little, right? It's got a little bit of sweetness, kind of floral at the same time. It's hot. Yeah. It has an amazing flavor. And it adds uh, that kick to the ceviche that all depends how... how Spicy, you want it, mm -hmm. right? You can have it, but with the margarita, yeah, you can so have good. a very it's a spicy combination. One. You know, we're also 100% gluten free, which is great, yeah. especially here in California. I you have a lot of people I who know. want gluten free yeah, food, yeah, it's true. And when you think of Mexican food, you don't think of gluten free food, I know, food. I know, but it's it, it's really great, and we've been like that since we opened. And what yeah. I love about your, your uh, restaurant as well, I mean, I see chips on the table here. These are homemade chips. These are yes. homemade chips. Uh, everything at Copita is homemade. Homemade, mm -hmm. exactly. We make all our salsas. We don't get anything in a can. We don't get anything in a, uh, like pre-made. Everything is made at home. Our mole, it's 18 ingredients right. mixed at home. Oh, you so said everything, mole, that's a fat. Our tortillas are uh, organic corn. We make our masa, we make our own tortillas. Every single tortilla that you get at Copita, it's made by hand right. mm -hmm. a few minutes. Yes. Yeah, this so. is great. And you've been a chef for a very long time. You were actually uh, yes. born in Mexico City. I was yes. born and raised in Mexico City. Uh, Joanne called me almost three years and a half ago, and I, I'm still enjoying he this adventure. He moved his family here, which oh, is so. really, really wonderful. His two children, his wife. So it's really great that we have him at Copita. 
Yeah. Well, again, congratulations. Thank you for bringing all this food, the hey, drink. Hey, and Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. And hey. Cinco de Mayo. This cheers, is just Dan. in cheers. time for cheers. Cinco de Mayo. Have Join a margarita. Us. Have yes. some ceviche. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much. And Thanks. remember to check out Copita's seventh anniversary event starting May 1st and happening all week, including a special brunch on Cinco de Mayo. For more information, you can go to the website, copitarestaurant.com. Coming up, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We'll be right back. <laughs>